Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you're all here. And in today's video, we're gonna go through my trash. I have a lot of empties to share with you. So I will try to go ahead and keep this moving along as quickly as possible, just sticking to the high points of if I would repurchase it again, if I already have repurchased it, and just like quick little mini reviews. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I finished up is a CeraVe. This is the Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. And this is currently my favorite cleanser right now that I'm using. I've said before, I'm kind of old school. I like a foaming cleanser, but I don't want my skin to feel tight and stripped afterwards. This fits the bill beautifully with my really dry skin. I get that lather, but my skin doesn't feel stripped or tight afterwards. So I love this and I have repurchased it already. I finished up a can of Salon Graphics Hairspray. And this is actually the hairspray that I use every day. I like this because it gives you like soft hold in your hair, but it does hold the style. And I can pick it up right at my grocery store, so that makes it so convenient. So I have repurchased another one of these. I have an empty of one of my K18. This is the leave-in bond repair, the molecular repair hair mask. This stuff is amazing. If you have not tried it, I encourage you, if you have any kind of breakage or if your hair is weak, this will transform your hair and you will see it, you will see results after one use. I am not lying, one, one use, your hair will feel amazing. It will look so much better. I was so happy to discover this product. It really has made a world of difference in my hair. I was, when I first reviewed this, I was able to link like a little trial size off of Amazon that was really affordable because it is a pricey product. And unfortunately, that little trial size isn't available anymore, but they do carry on Amazon a travel size for $29, which is still better if you really wanted to try it and see how it works out for you. So I'll have that linked below. But this is just a miraculous product that I just can't say enough good things about. Obviously, I've got another one going upstairs and I also have a backup. I just never want to be without this now. This has just made the biggest difference in my hair of any product I have ever used ever. So yes, I have repurchased this one. I have one of my Tresemme Texture Sprays and this is my favorite texturizing spray. I always have a backup on hand and I keep my fingers crossed that they do not discontinue this, which they tend to do sometimes with drugstore hair products. This I love, it just gives my hair like a little bit of grip without feeling like cakey or gross. Now I did have a friend that she knows that I love this and she tried it and she did not like it. And I have mentioned before, there is like a fine line of applying enough of this, but not too much. If you apply too much, your hair does feel gunky. So you kind of have to find the sweet spot for you, which I have found for myself, and which is why I absolutely love it. And I've got one going upstairs and then a, and a backup in my linen closet of this as well. I have finished up one of the Jergens Firming Body Lotions. And I really like this lotion. I think it's got a nice scent. It's pretty thick and creamy and moisturizing. Now the skin firming part, I mean, I, I hope it firms. <laughs> I don't know if it really does, but overall I think it's just a good basic like moisturizer. I have to use a moisturizer every time I get out of the shower. This is the one I've been using currently and I did repurchase another one of these that I'm using upstairs. So I do like this one. <laughs> Now, since doing my last empties ones, I have gone through three of my Holy Grail facial sunscreens. And this is the Kiss Me Mommy that I purchased off of Amazon. This is my absolute favorite sunscreen. I, do, I hope that they never stop making this. I have a real issue of sensitivity around my eyes with a lot of sunscreens. This I can put right on my eyelids, right up underneath. If it gets in there, it does not sting, it doesn't burn. I love this sunscreen. I like how it works under my makeup. It's waterproof, so if you sweat with a hot flash, it just it meets all my requirements. 
So that's why you can see that I have gone through three of these. This is my holy grail, and yes, I have repurchased. I have one that I am using, and I actually have two for backups right now in my linen closet. I love it that much. Now, a makeup item. I have re finished up a Best Skin Ever foundation from Sephora. And I will tell you that this is actually one of my favorite foundations. This is one foundation that I can trust. It will wear all day for me, make my skin look really pretty, a nice like satin finish. I just love this foundation. So yes, I have repurchased another one that I am using upstairs. And this is one of my absolute favorite foundations. Of course, I have a Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This is my favorite cleansing balm. I have found nothing that works as good removing waterproof mascara than this does. It is so easy to get that waterproof mascara off with this and it's really gentle on your eyes. You can open up your eyes and they are not there's not a crazy film over them like there is with so many eye makeup removers. So yes, I have repurchased another one of the, these. This is my favorite. I have finished up a Timeless Vitamin C, the 20%. I'm sorry, it looks so gunky. You can see like when it oxidizes what's left in here. But this is my favorite Vitamin C serum. I use this every day in the morning. I buy this right off the Target website, which I find really convenient for me. And if be, because I'm a red card holder, I get 5% off. So it's a really affordable serum to begin with. And then I get that extra 5% off discount using my Target red card. So I love this. And yes, I have repurchased another one of these. I have finished up another one of my Mesama Green Rooibos Press Serums. I love this serum. I use this every time I do a red light treatment. I'll go ahead and link the study below where it shows how participants using this Mesama serum on one half of their face with the red light treatment, all the improvements that they saw on the side that they used the Mesama serum. And I also have a discount code that I can list below. This is just a great serum to add to your red light routine. And I honestly think this is just a great serum overall. If you can't wear vitamin C serum, if it's really irritating, which it is for some people, this would be a great antioxidant serum to wear instead of vitamin C because it's really gentle on your skin, but that green rooibos really packs a punch of antioxidants. So I just think overall, this is just a great serum. So I finished up another one of these. I have one that I'm using currently, and then I have another backup. I do love this. I have finished up one of my Tarte Maracucha, the Juicy Lip Plump, and I, the shade fell off on this one, but I think my favorite shade, I can't remember, but it looks like this. I love this stuff. One of my viewers, Sally, she recommended this to me a few months back, and I have been hooked ever since. I have several different colors of this going. This color here is my favorite. I've got multiples of this one. I think I've got one in my purse. I've got a couple in my makeup bag, and I have a backup of this one. So I do love this, and I have repurchased it. I've also finished up another bottle of The Matrix, the Total Results Brass Off. This is a leave-in conditioner spray. And I love this conditioning spray. If you have lightened hair that gets brassy, but it gets orange brassy and not yellow brassy, this stuff is amazing because it's actually blue tinted. And I found out years ago that I need blue tinted products. Hair. And this leave-in, it is, it does come out, it is blue, so be careful when you are spraying this around your ba your bathroom because my husband one day is like, what are all these blue spots on the wall? <laughs> and then I realized it was my brass off spray that I was spraying. It easily came right off the paint, but just be careful that it, it does spray around and you might have little blue dots where you didn't expect. But I love this, I have repurchased and I've got another one going upstairs right now. All right, I have finished up another one of the e.l.f. cleansing balms. And this is actually a great cleansing balm. It is almost as good, I think, as the Clinique, but I just don't think it removes waterproof mascara as well as the Clinique does. 
But the reason I buy this is that I wear this really cheap, inexpensive sunscreen every morning when I walk Louie. And I buy this like kids banana boat zinc. It is thick, it is like white cast. It's nothing I would ever want to wear all day long. But I buy it because it's inexpensive and I know I'm gonna wash it off after my walk. So I don't want to really invest in a like higher priced sunscreen. So I use this every morning to take off that sunscreen and it does a great job at that. It does a great job removing makeup too. And if you don't wear waterproof mascara, this would be just a great one in general. I think it would suit all of your needs with that. But I think, like I said, I don't think it's just, it's slightly below Clinique and taking the waterproof mascara, which is why it's not my go-to all the time. But I do like it and I have repurchased it and I've got one upstairs that I'm using right now. Now I've been trying to go through some things in my under my cabinet and in my linen closet to use up. So I did use up one of the Neutrogena, the fresh, the fresh foaming face washes. This used to be a cleanser that I used all the time, and it still is a really good cleanser. Now, they build this one as that you can remove eye makeup with this just the cleanser. You don't need a first step, and I will say it does kind of okay even with waterproof, but you kind of really have to work, and you, you want to be gentle in that area, but it will remove waterproof mascara just not as easily as using like a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil. But I do think this is not a bad cleanser and I did just want to use it up because I had it laying around but I haven't repurchased but it, there's really nothing wrong with it and I used to love this years ago. I have finished up one of my Misha Time Revolution serums. And I love this serum. I find that it really just kind of keeps my skin like um, where it's not irritated when I'm using my retinol, so it's it's good for that. But I am currently trying another serum right now, but I will definitely go back to this at some point. It's, it's definitely in my rotation, so I haven't repurchased it yet, but I will be because I really do like this serum. I finished up one of the Olay Regenerous Collagen Peptide Max Moisturizers. Yeah, there's nothing in here left. But this is actually a really nice one. And this is one I will go back to for sure, but probably when it's not quite so cold. I have told you my skin is really incredibly dry right now this winter, and I'm having great luck with the Clinique Moisture Surge line. But this is definitely one that maybe like in the spring or even into the summer, this might be one that I incorporate back into my routine because it really is a great moisturizer, lots of good ingredients, and it's a pretty good price point too that you can get pick up right at the drugstore. So I do like this one, and I think at some point in the future I will be repurchasing this again. I have a little container of the Olay Regenerous, the Ultra Rich Cream. I recently um, traveled, and this was in my travel case that I used up. I actually think I might keep the container though because this size does come in handy. This is a great, thick moisturizer if you've got really dry skin. Obviously the texture of it, it doesn't work for me in daytime, it's just a little too thick, but it really is a great overnight moisturizer just to kind of like seal in your all the moisture into your skin. And I really like it. I have one upstairs. It's one of the moisturizers that I use at night in my rotation right now, this but it's a good one and I have repurchased. And then I have finished up a Coco Kind. This is the Ceramide Barrier Serum, and I love this serum. I think it's just a really good basic serum. There aren't a lot of like anti-aging ingredients in here, but when my skin is kind of irritated or if my rosacea is flaring up, this seems to just be very comforting and soothing. And those ceramides, I think, just help your skin in general just to keep your moisture barrier strong. So it's one that I do turn to quite a bit. 
I'm trying other serums for during the day use, but this is definitely one I always have on hand, so I have repurchased it. It's definitely a good one. So that is it, friends. I hope you enjoyed going through my trash with me and seeing all the products that I've recently used up. And I do want to thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me today. I do appreciate it, and I will see you all next time. Bye.